Hey guys, and welcome to another Pixel Crib unboxing video. Today we're unboxing the Evercade Versus, the new multiplayer system console from the folks at Blaze Entertainment as a follow up to their handheld Evercade, which plays uh, a range of old retro arcade um, and retro games. My name's Tim, and it's my job to take you through these unboxings. And here we are, guys. This is the box that the Evercade Versus comes in. This is the premium pack, and it's uh, just absolutely gorgeous detailing here. Now, as you can see, we've got the name up the top here. As I said, this is the premium pack. Um, it comes with the console itself and two controls and two games, one from Data East and one from Technos. These are officially licensed games as well. Uh, and in this particular collection, just from these two cartridges, there's about 18 games you'll be able to play. But of course, you can buy a range of other games uh, to add to this. There's a whole series of collectible cartridges that go into the Evercade and the Evercade Versus, and some secret games that you can actually discover um, when you put them in in a certain way. Now, here we go. This is the back. Um, like I said, there's a few of the other game collections. take this uh, slip off Oop, there we are off <laughs> a little jump in the video there because I had some awkwardness taking it off and here is the beauty itself this is the console once again it's a little bit difficult to get out so oop, there it is it's out <laughs> let's have a look here so this is what it looks like um, it's quite small beautiful make it's got the vent on the top and a little clicky side button to turn it on and off very reminiscent of the old retro consoles um, but obviously quite a bit smaller than those. You open up the compartment here and you can actually put two cartridges in the Evercade handheld. You can only put one, but you can put two in there. Um, across the bottom is USB. Now this is where you connect up your controllers and you can have up to four players. On the back here, We've got a USB entry, HDMI, and a little reset button here. Often on the bottom, here we go, some details about Blaze Entertainment and these little rubbery foot thingies <laughs> to make sure it's not going to slip about on the desk. And we'll put that aside for a second. Now, this is, you can see here, a quick start guide that comes with it. Just going to give you some details on how to get it up and running. To be honest, you're probably not going to need it. We've all used a console before. And this one is delightfully simple to use. So let's pull out these uh, two game cartridges. Now, this is a lot of fun. If you haven't seen an Evercade game cartridge before, this is awesome. They've kind of got that glossiness about them. Kind of reminds me of going to uh, Video Easy or something. Uh, let's have a look inside. They do come with actual physical cartridges, and that's something that... I think really makes a big difference. We get a lot of these retro consoles made, uh, but this is something, it's a real dedication. Having the cartridges like this, which you can take in, take out, and put in these collectible uh, cases is really awesome. And they come with the insert as well. Who doesn't remember driving home from the, uh, from the shops after you just brought a new video game and just devouring the uh, insert there, which is, it's just a really nice touch. Now let's put that aside again uh, take this out because at the bottom this is where the controllers are and the, our cords now this is the controller um, they've gone for a real retro look which makes sense of course in the Evercade colors uh, we've got triggers at the top and all the buttons they're all really lovely and clicky um, I think this is something people are really going to enjoy playing with and super long uh, cords on it so you can sit pretty far away from the TV because that does seem to be a <laughs> bit of an issue uh, when you are playing with wired controllers nowadays they never give you a long enough control cord so here's everything you get in the box the controllers the cords the games now let me show you inside as I said there are two cartridge slots let's put in two cartridges one there and I'll just grab the other one now we do know that certain cartridges, because there are two slots, uh, certain cartridge combinations do unlock extra secret games. And also in the operating system itself, there is a section where you can put in codes which will unlock secret games that are stored in the console. 
If you like what you've seen on the video today, then you can find a link in the description to find out more information or even maybe order your own. Get it into your own house. You can also like and subscribe this video for more updates in the future and follow us on social media using the details on the screen there. We'd love to see you over there. We'd love to see you at Pixel Crib. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you soon.